Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. It's your friendly local pensioner here, and I'm sitting here uh, in the outdoor studio with, if you can see here, I don't know if you can see, my favourite pussy, yes, but this is not, you'll be pleased to know, a video about my favourite pussy, much as I would like to show you that delight, but it's going to be another video, and possibly, although probably not, the last video about the Bompton, so... Let's get on with it, shall we? While you're still thinking about my favourite pussy and why would you not? Okay, so this video is about have I finished all of the upgrades for the Brompton? Well, maybe, but probably not. So let's look at what we've done so far. And we'll start, actually, uh, with the roller rack bag because uh, a gentleman called David you know, has a channel called David's Brompton who I well, do recommend you look at, actually. He does some very good videos. Uh, he made a comment when I did the video of the unboxing of this bag and he said I wanted to see it on the bike. Well, there you are, David. It's on the bike. Now, it's attached, as I think I said in the video, by a couple of clips. One is down here, which is attached to the rack, and there's one on the other side. And there's one up here, which is a Velcro strap, which attaches to your seat post. So there are three mounting points for this particular roller rack bag. And while we're here, uh, on this particular part of the video, the seat post there is a titanium seat post, uh, which I swapped for the standard steel seat post. And you can see a separate video uh, of the unboxing of that seat post. And while we're down here as well, you can see there the pedals. And these are the MKS contact, uh, compact pedals, by the way. Uh, I'm very pleased with them. This one here on the right hand side is a standard pedal and the one on the left hand side is a quick release pedal. So it doesn't fold up like the Brompton pedal does but you can remove it and put it in your pocket. Um, what else have I done? Uh, well if we move here to the front of the bike uh, you can see there the Cat Eye uh, 500 do you know what loop means? I don't know what loop means, LM anyway. The 500 uh, loop cat eye light which I have attached to the bike. I did an unboxing of this light although you didn't see me attach it to the bike but it's fairly straightforward. Uh, it replaces the reflector of course nobody has a reflector on their bike these days. Uh, what else have I done? Well moving up here you can see there the spur cycle bell and again I did an unboxing of the spur cycle bell. I'll just show you the rather nice noise that it makes. There we are. Isn't that a nice noise? I think it's a nice noise. Um, we also have the grips here. These are the uh, Ergon 3 grips. Very comfortable they are too. Um, you'll be pleased to know there's one on the left hand side as well but it's the same as the one on the right hand side except it's on the left hand side. And also uh, you may be able to see here the quad lock mount which again uh, you saw me do an unboxing of uh, you do you saw me do a, an attachment of the quad lock mount to the bike although I'm not sure that video came out particularly well and at the time I wasn't able to work out how to put the phone on the mount which uh, may surprise you well it may not surprise you actually if you watched any of my videos but I did manage to do it in the end I suppose I should have looked at the instructions but I mean what is the point of looking at instructions can you tell me so that is the Brompton P-Line uh, in a sparkly grey, rather attractive sparkly grey colour with a number of upgrades, modifications, well not exactly modifications, I suppose you'd call them upgrades uh, that I've made to it. Have I finished with them? Well maybe and maybe not. You want to see my pussy again don't you? Do you want to see, my stroke? Do you want to see me stroke my pussy? Very nice pussy. Uh, it doesn't move a lot this particular pussy but then some pussies don't as I'm sure you know. Anyway, that's enough talk about pussy. Back to me, Keith, as Keith Floyd used to say. No, hang on a minute. If it was Keith Floyd, his cameraman would, could also be called Keith, could he? Anyway, who knows? Uh, well, that's uh, the video of upgrades on the Brompton. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy my videos, you can like, you can subscribe, you can tell your friends, you can give me a thumbs up. Please remember that the thumbs down button on Julian's videos does not work because it's been disabled after I paid a small fee to YouTube, which I'm sure you can do as well. It's about 100,000 viewers, but I thought it was a fair price to pay in the circumstances. So... Um, any more videos about the Brompton coming? Well, possibly. I mean, who knows? What else am I supposed to do in my life apart from make videos about Bromptons? So uh, I'll give you a final look about the Brompton before we go. I mean, a final look at the Brompton before I go. And there it is. 
resplendent on the grass in Julian's paddock. And uh, anyway, hope you have a lovely day. Tour de France, day two on today, and Wimbledon starts tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.